Never mind. Speaking of danger signals, let's return to our switchman. When you yeah. really know the danger, it's kind of the title of the, the short. Promptly to protect lives, controls the switch for a clear track ahead to health and happiness. And then it lays down on the railway. Go family again and see what happens when John you encourage little kids to smoke and act at once. Remember that first night when Bob and Mary spoke about the small sore on his lip? Remember no, how he said, Bob, oh, forget it, skip it. Remember how, through lack of knowledge, indecision, and delay, he wrecked the whole dole train? You can't stop the dole train. The dole train never well, stops. that's what would have happened if Mary hadn't seen that small circular at the drug store that afternoon and brought one home to show John. <laughs> it says breast. Well, what do you know, what's from John, as he reads the circular and calms down a bit? Maybe, Maybe I do have cancer. Okay, well, as long as I can know. And while we're on the subject, Mary, you'd better come in along, too, for a checkup. Get the doctor on the phone. Find out if he can arrange to see us in the morning. Meanwhile, at 3 a.m. in the Dr. morning. Benjamin seems quite pleased that John came in to see him so early. You see, it's half of practicing medicine to be able to see people early when something can be done. It's like the old saying that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Okay. Oh. In cancer of the lip, 95% can be cured when they're detected and treated early. The doctor is suspicious that it is cancer, and on the assumption that it is, What's he got in his finger? It's just a, it's a single finger glove. That's a good idea. If it is, he'd use one of the three accepted means of treating cancer. Knives, guns, and bombs. Or surgery. Or a combination of the three methods. It won't take long, and John will only be laid up for a few days. I want to see more switchman action. Just three weeks later, with the Doe family team still intact. John has been back on the job. With a promotion coming up, he's already making <laughs> and Hey, just got diagnosed with cancer. Okay. Got a light? Through making the danger signal. Here, honey, have some. Mary too. Another close call. We'll make sure next time it's a little bit closer. Bringing the circular of warning signals home and calling it to John's attention is the reason why the family is still happily united. Mm hmm. As for Bob and Jane, well, all they were kind of minor characters. Here and and mommy's here. Yeah, and we care. Yes, they probably just feel warm, snug, secure, and happy about the whole thing. <laughs> Cancer can often be cured. The hope of cure lies in early detection by the individual and the physician. Now, if it's 95% curable back then, why are we so worried now? Right? I'm going to go smoke a whole bowl. There are only three recognized means of treating cancer. They are waves, x-ray, and radio. Swords. So be an alert switchman. Cancer is curable. This guy again. All right. I think the no switch man there is really the glue that holds this cast together, you know? Don't gamble. Don't doubt. Find out. 50,000 to 80,000 people can be saved every year in the United States if the danger signals of cancer are made known to them and they can't help them once if one develops. The near are almost now waiting. The skill is at the command of the medical profession. A thorough examination by thorough. your family physician is your best assurance that you will become uh, someone who you are saved. Switch in the right direction for a future of health and happiness. All aboard the cancer train. Alright everybody, hey, uh, it's me again. Uh, in case you haven't seen any of our previous episodes, let me just fill you in on what's been going on. Uh, I just kind of woke up one day down here. I don't really know where I am, but there doesn't appear to be an exit. 
But uh, there certainly does appear to be a gigantic movie theater, and there was at one point a cameraman and uh, some insane government official-looking guy with uh, an Uzi who uh, seemed to want me to watch said movies. Um, the cameraman ended up getting shot, and uh, his body ended up just kind of getting flung around all over the place. And the government guy kept on babbling about how everybody was going to arrest him or something. And, um, yeah, he never really did anything, but he left, leaving me a tape, basically saying that uh, he doesn't really have anything that he uh, is planning on doing next other than leaving, and that he's got a bunch of movies that he wants me to watch. So, without any further ado, I suppose I'm off to go watch another one. See you on the other side, I guess.